Hey everyone, welcome to Horrible Gaming. My name is Nora and on today's video we are playing some more Disney Dreamlight Valley. So I recently unlocked this gorgeous clock item and I really wanted to do some sort of a plaza centerpiece with it. I know we're working in the plaza again. I promise I'll be focusing on other areas as I get more items. I'm still progressing the game very slowly. Like I haven't even finished half of the quest yet because I really wanna take this game slow and not rush it. But of course, as I unlock stuff, I wanted to give y'all different layouts and different ideas and how you can decorate my builds that I put on the channel. So I know I've done kind of a round centerpiece build before, but this is using a different color scheme and some different items that I recently unlocked. So I really do hope that it brings you some inspiration. So now I know what you're probably thinking. Nora, how do you still have room to decorate your map? You've been using so many items and you still haven't hit 600. So here is the trick that I've learned so far through my decorating process. Process. So far, I've noticed the 600 item limit mostly counts towards the furniture items and items that are not native to the biome that you're decorating in. And even then, sometimes when I'm using, for example, a bush from, let's say I was working in the forest of Valor and I took in a few plaza bushes over there, it wouldn't count them until like the sixth or eighth bush. And that is the same with the trees and stuff. Now this could be different for other consoles. Like I'm on PC, so I'm not experiencing limitations or a bunch of bugs like many other players are. For example, I've been seeing people post on Twitter that haven't even hit 600 and they're getting told that they've used the amount that they can place in the game. And that is a bug because they haven't even done any of the decorating that I've been doing on my channel. So I haven't even flattened or touched the Forest of Valor. If you are not sure what I'm talking about, feel free to check out my Disney Dreamlight playlist. I've been documenting my building process over there. But other than that, the 232 is including my whole entire forest area. And that is using my curved rock border path basically everywhere. What I've been noticing is that sometimes my rock border doesn't even count. Like today's video, if you watch that count as I'm messing with the rock borders, you'll see that as I'm using the native rock item for the border, it's not counting towards it. It may count here and there, but majority of the time I've noticed it hasn't counted towards the 600 item limit. Again, this is my personal experience on the PC. I have no idea how this is affecting people on different platforms. I'm just talking from my PC experience Next thing I want to talk about is flowers. You'll notice that I'm decorating with a lot of flowers. One of my followers brought it to my attention. I don't know if this is confirmed or not because I have had a lot of native flowers each biome in one design before and all of my stuff still spawned as normal. So ever since that was brought up to my attention, I've been trying to decorate just to be on the safe side with flowers that spawn in different biomes. Ever so often I do decorate with a flower that is native to each biome I am working on, but I tend to focus on the flower that are spawning in other places. The last thing I guess I want to talk about is kind of like what to expect with me as a um, Disney Dreamlight creator. Now I do plan to have some forever decorations on my map but keep in mind that my plaza and other locations are constantly being flattened so I can give y'all different ideas you can use on your map. So I can't always give you an accurate number on how much this build is going to take up with the current builds you may have. So just keep in mind and pick and choose your builds carefully. I am treating Disney Dream Life Valley very similar to how my Animal Crossing content works. I want to provide you different ideas, different layouts, and different color schemes and styles you can recreate on your map. I think I'll start focusing on like builds I'll keep forever once I unlock more items. In the meantime, I'm just kind of like exploring different layouts and different item placements in general just to kind of like feel out the game and see what can be done and what can't be. I have lots of different plaza styles planned, so definitely stay tuned for that, but I am planning to decorate and do mini builds on the other biomes as well. So just let me know what you're hoping to see on the channel. I'm always checking the comments section. The feedback really does help. So I was hoping to also include um, Remy's restaurant in our shop in today's video, but I honestly just ran out of time. I honestly haven't even finished Remy's restaurant and cafe in general. Right now it's still abandoned. So uh, in the future, I'll definitely do several different layouts and styles with it, but I'm definitely going to take advantage of its abandoned state right now because I'm really wanting to do a forgotten plaza. With Halloween approaching, I feel like doing that theme would be so fun, especially using the pumpkins. So let me know if you want to see that recorded and documented. Y'all, I literally have so much Disney Dreamlight content planned, so make sure your notifications are turned on since I have a lot of different ideas I'm hoping to share with you. With that being said, thanks so much for watching and have a horrible day.